question from Andrew in Atlanta, Georgia, about a subject we have not yet gotten to, so I thank you, Andrew. He says, does the passage of same-sex marriage by a state legislature in the Midwest coming on the heels of two other states legalizing gay marriage in the same or last month represent a tipping point? What other states are likely to pass bills in support of same-sex marriage in the near future? And, of course, Andrew is speaking of Minnesota. Yeah, Diana, um, this is important and historic in that it is the first Midwestern state to pass it through a legislative process. Some have passed it through a ballot process. And one thing that's fascinating about Minnesota is the, the, the turnaround. Um, uh, there was a constitutional amendment banning same-sex marriage passed through the state legislature, or put on the ballot, I should say, put on the ballot just uh, two or three years ago. I wouldn't say this is a tipping point. I, I think we have reached, I would say, a couple months ago or maybe even before that. Politicians tend to be, and sometimes journalists, admittedly, tend to be behind the curve uh, in covering these things. I, I think the tipping point has been reached. I, I, if you look at any, literally any national poll, the Washington Post, ABC, uh, uh, USA Today, and Gallup, any national poll, what you will see is a remarkable shift over time uh, in support for gay marriage and even more important the younger you are, the more likely you are to be supportive of gay marriage. So it, it, what that suggests is that the coming generations, I'm 37, people in their 20s, that as they age, this will sort of push out as a political issue. I think you're seeing a lot of Republicans, frankly, acknowledge that, Republican strategists certainly. And the, the activism at the grassroots level in these states, the anti-gay marriage side is absolutely flattened. They are, one, waiting on what's happening with the Supreme Court, right? We've got another few weeks before we're going to know exactly what happens with the Defense of Marriage Act. By the way, if that gets overturned, it's going to be incredibly complicated at the state level. You might have to, if your state does not recognize same-sex marriage, but you do, you'll be recognized at the federal level, you might have to file a separate state return filing as a single person in that case. But So the activism is really on hold because they're seeing more and more defeats, more and more public sentiment shifting as Chris is talking about with this generational shift it's going to be a big deal and over the next year you're going to see more and more states like Minnesota you know it's not that I disagree with you but I would just also note that 30 states have amended their constitutions to ban same-sex marriage that makes it a more complicated process in those states to change the constitution and also there's a big regional besides the age characteristic the generational difference there's a big regional difference too all of New England now allows same-sex marriage every state in New England allows that no state in the South allows same-sex marriage. And so what we're likely to see is a patchwork of laws. And we're likely to see that for, I think, a considerable period of time. And just very quickly add to Susan's point, it, it, people forget, I think, this past November, the November 2012 election is the first time that we saw a, a, a um, same-sex marriage ballot be approved on the ballot. They had always to legalize same-sex marriage. They had always been defeated every single time prior. So I think it is shifting, but Susan is, is right in that there's a lot of evidence here that, that even if it is shifting, it's going to take time it, It's to only change. one year since President Obama came out in favor of gay marriage.